big loss with Chris and Nico. Um, they did well for us. So, times to pass. Um, Coach Tab, actually, I mean, I could I could go on all day asking you these questions, but my first question would be, what are some similar uh, similarities and differences between Philippine basketball to other places that you've coached at, um, both in terms of play style and in terms of coaching? Um, I think the love for the game here is evident, um, but since this is a podcast by coaches and largely for coaches as well, uh, what is one thing about Philippine coaching culture um, that surprised you when you got here? Um, I think the thing that, that probably surprised me the most is also the thing that annoys me the most. And, and I don't think that it is absolutely our coach's fault, which means it's correctable. And I don't even think it's the hierarchy of coaches, which I think bears some responsibility for uh, what I'm going to say, but, but not entirely. So the biggest thing that annoys me, and I think the biggest surprise to me was the tactical immaturity of Philippine basketball coaches. And so what do I mean by that? I mean that, that they are, um, significantly unaware of the tactical advancements and the systemic advancements of coaching systems coming out of Europe in particular. Um, which, you know, uh, are, are built on the backs of player development. And so our player development here is immature and our, our appreciation for, uh, tactical advancement and, and tactical systems is immature. Now, let me explain to you why I think that isn't necessarily the coach's fault, coach's apostrophe at the end of the S. So as a, as a industry here, um, we have one major, major flaw in the basketball landscape of the Philippines, and it's a regulatory flaw. And that is that in the PBA, we have three conferences. Two of those conferences are a single import conference. This is a big mistake. We should never have a single import playing on a team. Further, we should never have a single import that is given all of the rules latitude that the imports are given here by the referees and by the administration of the PBA. And I do believe it is by the administration. And I do believe that it is based in the desire to have superstars as a marketing tool for the PBA. And of course, the imports that come here are some very outstanding players and they become superstars because of their statistical performances and so many uh, examples and situations. So I, uh, the, the question that this begs to me is why aren't these guys superstars in bigger leagues and in leagues where they could play 10 months a year and earn uh, significantly greater salaries over the course of a year than they earn here? 
Why aren't they? And the reason is they aren't given the regulatory advantages by the referees that they're given here. So in other words, put it in layman's terms, a foul for a PBA player or for a, a local player isn't a foul on an import. And the foul of an import, that same foul on a local player isn't a foul. So our PBR local players are competitively disadvantaged in their ability to compete against the import players. And this is not the case in other countries. And you ask yourself why one PBA coach after another, when they start their games, 48 minute games, they don't match up the imports against one another. Why is that? Well, it's tactically smart. It's tactically sound because they can't afford the fouls because they know that the imports produce so much offense for their teams. But that's not so bad as the fact, and this gets back to my original point, gets back to the fact that if you're a PBA coach and you don't tactically run your systems through the import, you're pretty stupid because they are given all of the advantages. So the PBA coaches are a smart lot. They're good basketball coaches, but they could be much better if they were forced to coach much more, I believe. I think then they would show their real talents. But I think that because of the way our imports are treated here, it's not sound thinking for a coach to not exploit what is obvious to every PBA coach, and that is to run your offensive systems through your imports. Because you get an extraordinary number of free throws through the imports. You get an extraordinary number of easy basket opportunities through the imports. And you get an extraordinary number of situations where the local players literally get out of the way of the imports. And yeah. so, you know, I think that system, um, it creates a false landscape for our, our basketball coaches and our basketball players. And I think it needs to be changed sooner rather than later. A few moments later.